hello guys to arbo vita next and today we are going to discuss about a very important topic as we all know knowledge is power so let's begin so today's topic is cyanosis so what is basically cyanosis we have to know so let's see so by definition it is actually bluish discoloration of the skin and mucous membrane due to poor circulation of blood or inadequate oxygenation of blood so here is a picture depicting cyanosis you can see here in the nail beds there is bluish discoloration so in clinical presentation we actually see for cyanosis in nail beds lips under the tongue mucous membrane skin these are the sites basically we look for cyanosis so let's see what are the actual events that are occurring in our body during cyanosis so there is number one is there is increased deoxygenated hemoglobin more than 5 gram per 100 ml of blood that is 30 percent of total hemoglobin in capillaries number two is deficient oxygenation of blood in lungs it occurs in certain conditions like pneumonia and chronic bronchitis number three is decreased oxygenation sorry decreased oxygen transfer across alveolar capillary membrane it occurs in fibrosing alveolitis so these are the conditions where this can occur so number four is decreased amount of air ventilation in the lung so this can occur in poliomyelitis so what are the types of cyanosis so let's see the types of the cyanosis there are two types basically number one is central cyanosis which is seen basically around the core of the body like lips and tongue and another is peripheral type of cyanosis which is seen in extremities or fingers actually so let us know about the causes so what are the causes of central cyanosis so central cyanosis it is often due to circulatory or ventilatory problems leading to poor blood oxygenation in lungs so when there is um, arterial oxygen saturation less than 85 percent in the blood then we can see this kind of central cyanosis and another feature of this central cyanosis it is it is uh, associated with warm limbs and clubbing so what are the causes actually let us see so there are various type of causes like there are cardiac causes like congestive heart failure asian menges disease then there are congenital heart disease myocardial infarction so we can see here also that there are other type of causes like cns manifestations like intracranial hemorrhage tonic clonic seizures drug overdose like um, morphine like drug overdose then there are respiratory causes like COPD, hypoventilation, pulmonary hypertension, pulmonary embolism and high altitude yes that is very important uh, cause like when there is high altitude more than 2400 meters there may be presence of cyanosis and um, blood conditions like primary polycythemia then methemoglobinemia congenital cyanosis these all conditions can lead to um, presence of cyanosis and uh, temperature is also a good factor like in hypothermia there may be cyanosis so next is what are the causes of peripheral cyanosis let us see so it is often due to uh, inadequate or obstructed blood circulation actually so what are the uh, condition like it is seen in skin only limbs are cold and there is no clubbing seen 
so what are the causes basically the causes are cold exposure cardiac failure collapse constriction hypovolemia and arterial and venous obstruction so basically um, all the causes of central cyanosis are also included in this sometimes so let us see next let us proceed so next is differential cyanosis this is another type of cyanosis it is seen in either lower or in the upper extremities and uh, generally not seen in the head so when there is a uh, cyanosis in the lower limb the causes may be patent ductus arteriosus interrupted aortic arch then when there is uh, associated with upper limb there may be transposition of greater arteries then sometimes it is associated with left upper limb and both lower limbs uh, it is seen in patent ductus arteriosus with reversal of shunt in combination with preductal coarctation of aorta and there is intermediate type it is seen in abstains anomaly so uh, when there is patent ductus arteriosus i want to discuss that um, there is suffering from pulmonary vascular disease um, later on so it leads to increase pulmonary pressure that is pulmonary hypertension is seen and uh, when there is increased pressure in the right atrium which exceeds the aortic pressure there is reversal of the shunt that leads to cyanosis in the lower limbs basically so what is that okay so that's all for today and the lecture is by shubhajit datta that is me and please subscribe to our youtube channel that is arvo vita next you all know that and please subscribe thank you for watching and yes also you can uh, join us on our facebook page like our page uh, we have two pages uh, one is arvo vita next and another is met curiosity so please do subscribe and like those pages and thank you guys